What's up guys, Joe Snow right here. Today we're discussing about the iOS 10 kernel, which is not encrypted at all on 64-bit devices. For example, the iPhone 5s, 6s, 6s, 6s Plus, and so on. Which means that the jailbreakers will have a spike in their activity in the following months, but also means great news for iCloud bypassing. Why? Because you no longer need keys. The, that little tiny keys that were uh, required for you to decrypt are no longer required. Therefore, you can perform modifications on the root file system or on the kernel or device tree or iBoot or any other file without even having to decrypt it with a particular AS key. You probably know for the moment and since iOS 10, you, sorry, since uh, the very beginning of the uh, iOS 9.x and so on, had uh, an encryption, but starting with iOS 10, you no longer need to have a key. Check this out. On the root file system here, decryption on the firmware manager, you needed an AS key. The AS key were usually taken from the iPhone wiki on the firmwares, but iOS 10 changed a few things. Well, if you go here to the beta firmwares on the iPhone and check iOS 10.x as it's listed in here, you can see that the iPhone 5 5 sorry, the iPhone 5 is the um, the only X32 device on the iPhone um, on the iPhone section that supports the iOS 10, which means that iPhone 4s is gone. And also, if you take the IPSW, you'll see that there is a problem. The kernel from the iPhone 5, which is a 32-bit device, 32 -bit device, it's encrypted. I don't know why, but Apple preferred to leave the kernel for iPhone 5 encrypted, while the kernel for, for iPhone 5s and um, iPhone 6 and so on is not encrypted. Oh yeah, the iPhone 5C is also a, an X32 bit device. Therefore, there are two devices on 32 bit that still run iOS 10, the iPhone 5 and the iPhone 5C, which will probably get dropped by iOS 11. Who knows? But the kernel for the uh, X32 bit devices is encrypted. Strange, but yeah, this is how it is. The root file system is not, so you can perform modifications and if you check out the video from the description, the videos from the description, you can see how I'm doing that. Also, today we're talking about something very important in the world of the uh, creation of custom-made firmwares. It's about how you can enlarge the uh, content or the space, the spare space for the uh, DMG file if you don't have OS 6. Some of you got an error telling you that you don't have enough space in the um, in the root file system in, for my previous video, uh, in which I, I've been showing you how to create a custom-made farmer using Transmac and iOS 10, and of course the setup.app patch for iOS 10 devices, which is compatible with all devices. Well, let me show you how you can make the DMG bigger so that this this can fit. At first, there is a tweak. It is a tweak, it's not something um, easy but it's a tweak that you can do usually this kind of processing it's done on a mac so we're kind of forcing the things out by using windows and if it wasn't for transmac to exist then you couldn't have done anything on windows dmg keep in mind that dmgs are the format for os6 it's like iso is for windows it's something particular for os6 Running them on Windows, it's impossible without any program like this, which are, of course, third parties. I'm going to open Transmac and I'm going to show you how you can make a bigger DMG file so that you can create your file system. Okay, so at first, you cannot perform the modifications directly on the DMG. What you need to do is to make this thing a zip file, extract your uh, DMG file, Mine it's already modified, but uh, I'm going to show you how to do it. Also, you can see here it has 2.8 gigabits. You don't have to shrink it, but if you want, you can do it. I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, it's basically doing its things. I'm going to wait. I'll be back. Okay, so it's done. Now we're going to use HFS Plus in order to make the partition bigger. So... 
going to paste in a text right here something okay that I calculated when I put pose it's basically the equivalent for 3 gigabit in bytes you will need this value so I'm going to put it in the description and I'm too lazy to write it myself okay so you're going to open a CMD window I'm going to put the uh, HFS plus application in the description you open it you load the file grow paste that uh, string oops sorry I think it has to be in the same um, in the same folder so I'm going I'm going to name it file I'm gonna place it right here okay now I'm going to run HFS plus file.dmg grow I'm going to paste the value hmm. this is strange okay for some reason I get the uh, error cannot open volume so we have to use another method in order to use another method I'm going to use a transmic for um, for this operation you're gonna click run and you're gonna click here uh, create new disk new disk image you will make it um, 300 will be 3 gigabits and you will name it you have to name it the way uh, this one is so sorry I'm going to open this one first to take the name because you will need to uh, basically have this name from here oh shit I cannot get the name yep so we have to copy it down by hand those guys at Transmac should improve their application I'll be back okay I'm gonna put this thing in the description so that you can uh, you can take it I'm gonna save it okay now you need to close Transmac open it again run create a new file copy down the name and now make it 3 gigabits okay now you're asked where to save save it on your screen it will create and format the uh, DMG file I will be back okay it's nearly done and after that you have to copy all the content from this one sorry for the origin from the original one to the new DMG file unfortunately this is it this is what you need to do you have to perform more things as you can see it's created with the name it should have and now you should open this thing copy everything into a folder I'm gonna create a new folder files you need to extract everything and put right here it will take a little bit so be patient unfortunately this is the only thing you can do if HFX fails as it did to me and yeah this is basically it because you need a, uh, a Mac in order to perform those actions this is the only fix I found if you don't have a Mac now don't start hating on comments that is too complicated or that why I'm not showing you how to do it faster or I don't know easier or something like that it's not my problem that you don't have a Mac it's not my problem that you don't want to install VirtualBox and run OS 6 on your Windows it's not even my problem that your computer is slow so I just created this fix for those who don't have a Mac or and don't have time or don't have I don't know anything they don't have in order to run OS 6 on their PCs so if the fix is too complicated for you I'm pretty sorry but I cannot I can't really make it simpler than that unfortunately this is the only method you can use in order to create a custom made farmer on Windows handling DMG files is for OS 6 so be happy that you have this uh, little tweak right here okay so don't start hating on comments yeah I'll be back when uh, everything is done as you can see it copies things up 
only one gigabit and four. And you can also include here in the files in uh, in the folder when the applications folder will appear. You can include the setup.app patch directly, and then you will put in. I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. I'll be back. Okay, we're going. Let's uh, let's just wait for it to finalize the action. Okay, so basically done. Good. Now we need to close again this thing. Oh wait, it has to copy them into the files folder. Your explorer might get unresponsive for a few seconds because after extraction it copies them down to the files folder. Okay guys, so the files were moved here into the position. I'm going to close Transmac, go to Applications, and you need to take now the setup.app patch and drop it here somewhere. We'll replace, of course, the file. I already replaced it, but I just show you how to do it. Click to do it for every conflict, and you'll be good to go. Now, you need to go to open the DMG file you created, the three gigabit one, run, go inside and drop all the files right here. Of course it will take a while again, but as I said, it's the only fix I can find for this. Okay, and as you can see, it's going faster. Probably because they're encrypted. Let's see how much they sum together. Okay, so those files are extremely compressed in this uh, in this point. Okay, and you now have the uh, applications and oh sorry, you know what we did? We put only the applications. Yeah, we have to put all the files. Okay, so we were in the applications folder and we put all of, all of those. Make sure you don't repeat the same mistake. Sorry, I'm very tired. It's two a.m. Anyways. I'm gonna go here and put all these and of course you need to wait and it started putting back the things I will be back when it finishes putting things up everything you need the transmac and the command sorry the uh, name is in the description so don't worry Okay, so I think it won't have too much until it's gone. Okay, so basically everything is done. You have the applications, you have the setup.app which is patched right here, and you have the new DMG file containing all of this. Now you can remove the original one. You can also go into the, uh, the archive right here to take the name of the new DMG file. I'm going to open it close and take the name of it and you remove this one and this one as well if it appears and put this one in there, click OK, and you are good to go. I'm not going to do that for the moment, but you got the idea. I'm not going to do it because it means a lot of time to be spent. I already created my custom made farmer, but also this is the fix for the uh, no free space left or something like that when you try to put the uh, setup app inside that, um, that DMG file. Is the only fix so yeah use it but now I want to make an announce starting from today I'm not going to put the uh, download links in the description I'm going to put a link to the FC 365 page in which you will get the links the direct link uh, to the um, 
the file if you need. For example, you have here the, um, the article with the uh, patches. I'm going to put the link, for example, this link in the description where you can, you can see the excerpt of what is this video about. You will be able to have the video in front of your eyes and also here you have the download center and everything you need as download, link, download links. When you click them, they bring you automatically to the download link for whatever you need. Even though my uh, internet connection is so damn poor for the moment, as you can probably see. Okay. So you can see, you can download through your browser and so on. So the uh, download links are now here. I'm doing this because of YouTube. It's a matter of uh, not putting download links in the description, something they change it in their algorithms. So I'm, I am no longer able to put links in the description. If I do that, I might trigger some spam things or something like that, and it's not okay. So from now, you will have the direct link to the article. You just go to the bottom and click on the download links and yeah. So be sure to check periodically this page on the home page. You will have the latest things that I post and also you can see the chill breaking status as it appears. For example, here you can see iOS 9.3.2 doesn't have any jailbreak, but for those that have jailbreak, you can click and directly download the jailbreak tool. You click Pangu 9 and wait for it to load. Pangu servers are very uh, hard and you get it automatically from their server. So yeah, if you have any questions, contact us from here or do not forget to like, share and subscribe the video and comment in the, in the uh, comment section, ask for anything. I do look on any comments, but I cannot reply to all of them. There are a lot of comments, but I do look on any of them. And if I find a pertinent question that really needs to be answered and I didn't answer that question before, you will get an answer. Thanks for watching, I'm Joe Snow, till the next time, stay tuned, like, share and subscribe and peace.